What's up everybody? Donny here, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be targeting Pompano. First uh, Pompano session of 2022, so I'm super pumped for that. I have not been targeting Pompano because the only spots you can get them at during winter months are at the power plants. And I know it can get crazy at the, uh, the power plant, so I just didn't even bother for them. I'm sure there's uh, spots besides the power plants where you can catch uh, pompano in the winter months. I just haven't figured that out yet. We're out here, it's about 7.30 and the tide is slowly, slowly coming in, making our way to the, uh, the jetties up here. We're gonna fish the jetties, bridges, passes, wherever to find the pompano. Once we get on them, we'll stay on them. Stay tuned guys, it should be good. All right, we just got to uh, the first spot and we're throwing the pink with the chartreuse teaser. Tide's barely moving right now, so I don't know how, I don't know how it's gonna be. Hopefully, hopefully we can get something on it. So going into today, we pulled up to the first spot and the water was coming in slowly. It looks really good. It looks like there'd be some pompano there, but I was jigging for probably 20 minutes and got one bite, didn't get it on film. It was just a smaller sand perch. We left the first spot and went to go fish the bridge. What is this here? Lizard fish again. A shark came up and tried to eat this uh, lizard fish. I kid you not, it was like a bonnet head. Good bait right there guys good grouper bait snook bait redfish bait too all right guys we're gonna go to a different spot and try our luck elsewhere nothing over here man no bites oh there's a fish i lied it's small though a bunch of like small lizard fish man. so we started making our way to the canal and we were jigging along the docks and soon enough the first pumping off the day i was so pumped it's been a while no way a pompano hit it guys Oh yeah. Can't believe it, right here. Can you believe that, guys? Right here, out of nowhere. Yes, sir. Target a species, man. First one. Oh, he's snagged. We'll take him, though. He definitely went for it. That's a keeper. Good deal, man. First one. Finally. Let's try to get some more. Oh, came off. Dang, what was that, man? Didn't feel like a pompano though, otherwise he would start digging. A lot of late, uh, lizard fish today. Let this guy go. Oh, sand perch. That's a big old sand perch right there. Good bait, guys. Good, good bait for grouper. I'm sure Snook will eat this too. A, snu uh, a grouper will freaking hit that instantly. Check him out. Pretty cool. Look at the colors on him. All right, let's put him back in the water right here. Just jigging along, trying to get some uh, pompano. We got one already. The tide is barely moving. That that might be the reason why the bite's been slow for pompano. Usually they move with the tide. That's what I think. But um. It's hit or miss, man, with pompano. Pass it up current. And just jig it back towards us. So, working that bottom. Oh yeah. I'm a lizard, lizard fish catching pro. Look at this. Oh my gosh, this is a mess. Oh yeah, it's a good one. Fish on. Might be uh, another ladyfish here, but it might be pompano. I don't know. Oh, it came off. Seriously? Oh yeah, it's a good one. 
Oh, that's a late, that's a ladyfish. Big old ladyfish. He's digging, digging. Oh yeah, he's he's decent. He's probably, probably about the same size as the other one. Definitely hit it though. This time. Let's measure it. Yeah, he might be small, man. We might have to throw this guy back. Yes, sir. Little guy. Look at that. Small. Probably right on 11. Let's get him released. They are so slippery, man. Oh my gosh, look how small he is. We're not even gonna measure him, that's right on 11. All right, man, two Pompano so far. The last one was super small, man, probably right on 11 inches to the fork if I had a guess. But we're gonna get back to jigging. Hopefully, um, hopefully they start coming through here. The tide did start picking up a little bit, so that might be the reason why. There's dolphins around us too, so. Gotta watch out for them. Don't want to lose a fish to a dolphin. That would suck. I've had that happen to me when uh, when I was grouper fishing at the Skyway Pier. Hooked, hooked onto a grouper, reeling it in. I was reeling it in and a dolphin came out of nowhere and snatched. Oh, popping out right there. For sure. As we're talking. Oh yeah. Might be a little bit better one. Oh yeah. He's digging. That's a better one. Probably 13 inches there. 12, 12 to the fourth, 13 inches. Good deal, man. Let's go. They're starting to, they're starting to bite now. That helicopter would come by right when I hook up onto a fish. Let's get him unhooked. Yeah, he's definitely a keeper. We will keep him. It's been a grind all morning. All right, good deal, man. He's probably 12 inches to the fork, same size as the other one. Good deal. Second one. What are you doing, just popping on Jake? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, man. Awesome. I'll check it out. Appreciate it. In the box. One last look. That's a decent one there. About the same size, actually. Keeper. He's, he's better. Oh yeah, that's a better one. That might be 15, honestly. Yes, sir. Pumped, man. Not bad. Check that out, boys. That's a solid one. Targeted species. Gotta love catching these guys, man. We need the pliers for this. All right. Good deal, man. Yeah, just casting that jig up current and just working that jig, man, along the current, bouncing it along the bottom, and he picked it up. Probably a couple, a couple hops, three pops on the bottom, and he was on it, man. Let's put him in the, let's put him in the box. We got. We gotta catch three more and then that'll be, that'll be our limit. God, guys, you wouldn't believe it, man. I was literally just waiting for that boat to pass by, right? Just hanging that jig just alongside the boat and he picked it up. Unreal. We'll try to limit out. Good deal. All right, guys, uh, no bites in like 20 minutes, so we're gonna switch it up. We might go to a different spot, and yeah, we'll go on from there. All right, guys, we just got to uh, the first spot where we started fishing for Pompano, and man, the traffic just got worse. There's th there are so many people out, so many boats out. Um, if I don't get a bite within like 10 to 15 minutes, we're just gonna have to call it. Not a bad day so far. Uh, Got four in the cooler. It'd be nice to get two more to limit out, but I won't be mad if I if I don't catch any more. Let's go. We're on this side now, guys. 
Look on to a nice one. Let's go. Oh yeah, that's a piece of two. Five. We need one more. It's our fifth one right there. Not bad. Let's get him unhooked and uh, keep on jigging. All right. Box. All right, guys. Last spot. Let's see. Let's see if there's any uh, pompano running through here. I've heard pompano run through here um, every now and then. You can find pompano pretty much anywhere where there's clear water, good moving tide. Just gotta, just gotta try it out, you know, and um, put in the time, look for them, get the pattern down, the wind, the tide, everything comes into play when you're fishing for a pompano. And having the right tackle is, uh, I think is, is the main key because this is all you're doing, jigging. You don't want to be jigging with a medium heavy with a 4,000 or 5,000 size reel. You know, that's just, that just doesn't make sense. Um, a 2,500 size reel or a 3,000 size reel is plenty. And a medium action rod or a medium light. I'm using a medium light uh, Shimano Zodius. But this medium light here feels feels like a, um, a regular, like a, a, a St. Croix medium action rod. So each rod rating company is completely different. So you just gotta go to the tackle shop and just, you know, match up the reel with the rod and feel it in your hands, see if it bounds. Oh my gosh, no way. What is this? Oh, it's a whiting. Got a whiting, guys, at the spot. First time fishing at uh, the spot here. Is that a whiting? Yeah, definitely a whiting. I heard whiting is good eating. Nah. We're not keeping them though. We got plenty of pumping them. Ooh, that's, that's very dangerous when he's uh, flopping like that. Gotta be careful. All right. Come on, buddy, I'll let you go. There he goes. Overall, it was a great day on the water. We caught six pompano. We were out there pretty much all day. Man, it was such a blast. I wish it was like this like throughout the whole summer. Like, the weather is so beautiful. 70 degrees, light wind, can't beat it. Looking forward to getting out there again next time. That's gonna be a wrap for me, man. It's been a, it's been a long day. Probably eight hours of uh, fishing, pretty much all day. Had a blast. Caught four pompano, actually five pump. Actually, we caught six pompano. Had to let the uh, the smaller one go, but good day overall. Can't complain. Five pompano, nothing too big, like 12 inches, 13 inches. But uh, there's gonna be more pompano fishing in the future, so stay tuned for that. Hope you guys like it. Hit that like button. Hit that bell notification. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one.